Okay, Bye. cool. Sick, guys. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> All right. Um, sick. Let's go. Okay, so welcome, guys. We're going to talk about Rainbow. Rainbow is the most accessible Ethereum wallet. Um, really, what we're trying to do is build an app that, I guess, like, really just like, you know, deserves to be on your home screen. We think that Ethereum wallets are like a new product category um, and broadly think that, um, you know, within a short couple of years that um, if there's going to be really any financial app on somebody's home screen, that first and foremost is going to be an Ethereum wallet. Um, so yeah, let's check it out. Um, you know, let's see, we've got, I've got here a, you know, freshly booted, uh, you know, install of mm -hmm. Rainbow. Um, I thought we could start from here. You guys can see my screen, right? Sick. Um, so what we're gonna do is uh, kind of like load this wallet that I just set up, right? So you can see here, uh, traditionally when you set up an Ethereum wallet for the first time, it makes you do all of this stuff. Like, you know, it basically it's like, hey, write down these like 30 words, like, hey, like X, Y, Z. We just, we throw you right in. Um, Right here, you know, it's like, hey, you can buy, uh, you know, a small amount of crypto from us right now using Apple Pay. Um, this feature only works for like, you know, 20% of people though. We're working on <laughs> getting that uh, working uh, in 2022 for everybody. Um, we're gonna have like a world-class VR on-ramping experience. Um, but let's, let's set up this new wallet. So I'm gonna go over to one of the other wallets that I already have um, and transfer some money over. So, here, you know, actually, yeah, like, you know, here's another one of my wallets. You know what? Yeah. Screw the whole other. I'm just going to show you this wallet. Let's go. Okay. So this is an already configured wallet. Uh, this is, uh, you know, what it shows here at the top is a bunch of ERC20 tokens. So these are like any, what, we, what Rainbow does is discover the tokens that you already have, um, no matter where they are. Um, so, right, basically, uh, you can see here the third token down is um, Arbitrum Ether. Um, so what that is, is actually uh, uh, Ether that's on a, a layer two called the Arbitrum network. Um, and other wallets, um, you know, make you essentially like go and like switch between your networks, between the Ethereum mainnet and the layer twos. What Rainbow does is discover those tokens automatically and merge it into one unified, um, one unified interface that shows you all of the uh, tokens across all of the networks. So here down here as well, you can see that this is like optimistic Ethereum, um, which is again on another layer too. So yeah, at the top, these are all ERC20 tokens. Again, like they can be anything, um, you know, here's, uh, you know, Unisox, uh, my favorite token. Um, so Rainbow, I guess, stands out because we are, you know, providing a rich interface for these uh, assets, right? So if you like, MetaMask is the big player in the, you know, in the room. They have the, uh, you know, historical legacy, I guess. Um, you know, they're like the incumbent, but uh, their product sucks. And basically, you know, you can't actually use it as your single app, right? Like there's no, um, you know, they don't have price charts. Um, and also it's like when you, you know, it's like if you want to use Unisox with MetaMask, you have to go like add it as a custom token. It's, it's really just like, it sucks. Um, so let's show some other cool things in Rainbow. I'm gonna minimize uh, my ERC20 tokens. Uh, below that, we have like a savings section. So currently, um, you know, this is hooked up to Compound Finance. Um, the way it works is uh, basically you can deposit um, directly in um, to Compound Finance and we automatically, um, we'll let you deposit any asset, right? So you have Shiba token, um, you know, world's premier financial asset. I don't know if you guys have followed, but Shiba is all the rage. So uh, what you can do here is like, you know, you can deposit uh, Shiba token and it, um, we automate the swap uh, that we essentially swap it uh, into DAI for you and then deposit that into the compound. Um, so really th like at every step of the way, Rainbow is trying to essentially like insert magic and uh, in, you know, in between these transactions where you know, you the previously a user would have had to, you know, dis, you know, discreetly go and swap that Shiba elsewhere into Dai before even taking this action. Like we, Rainbow lets you just like take the action. Um, you know, at the bottom here, you can see like you know your estimated earnings, you know, over twenty years, 
50 years, 100 years. Cool. So let's see what else we got. Um, we have some pools. Um, so pools here, uh, these are Uniswap pools. So, you know, this is an example of the way that Rainbow is surfacing, um, you know, DeFi positions that you have in a more, you know, contextualized way. Um, so here, you know, you've got, uh, you know, the Abe ETH pool. Um, and, at, you know, in the center here, what you can see is, is like, you know, the annualized fees, right? So basically being a uh, liquidity provider of this pool, um, you're currently earning roughly 2% um, a year uh, in fees, trading fees being generated in that pool. This position has earned about like $6, um, blah, blah, blah. Um, below that we have NFTs. So Rainbow has, uh, you know, Rainbow has supported NFTs since the first version of our app shipped uh, like two or three years ago. And it was, people thought it was ridiculous for us to put any time whatsoever into NFTs. Um, but, you know, our functionality and support has really stayed the same mostly since then, right? All we did is essentially treat uh, NFTs as first class citizens to the wallet experience. Um, so let's check that out. So Sonar Moji is pretty sick. I can click on my NFT. Um, and I have a few things going on here. One is we're surfacing the, uh, the floor price um, for that uh, NFT uh, category. Um, we're printing the display. Um, one thing we've got coming in the pipeline, we've got amazing like markdown rendering coming for, uh, for this description text. You can tell here there's like markdown being shown here, but it's like not being formatted properly. That's coming in our next release. Um, some of the other cool things is like, you know, this basically lets you, uh, you know, uh, I can click directly on one of these attributes and, uh, you know, go basically spawn a search. I can go like link directly out to OpenSea and search for all of those, um, you know, uh, uh, like other assets with that same attribute. Some other cool things we got going on up here are um, one, it's like the ability to save this token to your photos, right? So it's like, if you wanna go make this NFT, um, your avatar on Twitter, um, or any other platform, you can just like easily save the most high quality version of that asset from this dropdown. Um, and then up here in the top left, another button you'll notice is the showcase button. So adding something to your showcase, what it does is essentially move it up here um, to this like showcase section. Um, basically the so showcase section is really just about, you know, highlighting your favorite stuff, right? So it's like, if someone's gonna look at your wallet, what are they gonna see first? What's your favorite? You know, you have a lot of JPEGs, which ones do you like most? Um, so uh, the showcase, um, you know, it's yeah, you can just stack things in there. Um, uh, and, you know, on the web, so let's see, um, we have a web, uh, 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 we have a web profile product as well. So basically this wallet's um, address is actually, rainbowwallet.eth. Um, so on the web, if I type in rainbowwallet.eth, um, I can see uh, all of the assets or the NFTs that that uh, you know, wallet owns and the showcase is at the top. Um, and we, we, we think that this is broadly the way that people should be sharing their stuff. Um, so you can like, you know, click on this, view their attributes and more. Um, uh, but anyway, I just want to share the showcase feature. Um, other cool things going on here is we have uh, the discover page. Cool, so we have the discover page, um, which is over here to the right. Um, it's uh, high, you know, it's sneaky, it's hiding the, uh, you know, camera. So beneath the discover screen is where the camera lives. Um, camera, you can use to scan stuff um, or like scan like uh, wallet connect links, um, uh, you know, we have Uniswap pools here like listed out. I personally like to sort them by annualized fees. I think that that's the most useful one. Um, this is like kind of interesting way to kind of see uh, what uh, really is like what pairs have high volume right now on Uniswap. Um, let me think what else. We have like lists as well. So you can like add, uh, I don't, you know, uh, things to your, your tokens list. So how do I do that? So, uh, you know, let's see. So one of the other, I guess like paths in the app is like going to swap. So if I click like this like floating action button down here in the bottom right uh, for swap, it opens up our swap UI um, and I can choose to swap between any two assets. 
So I can choose some ETH and I can change it. I can swap it for um, socks. Sweet. Um, and I can go and, uh, you know, type in a, you know, I can type into any of these three inputs, right? So if I'm, you know, if I want to buy 0.1 ETH and that's how I think about it, right? Like that's the unit in my mind. Uh, I can type that in. I can type in the dollar field here or I can type in the stocks field, any of them that works fine. Um, we have this view detail, details button, you know, so it's like, hey, if, if you're not actually sure what's going on, you know, um, hey, what execution rate am I getting, et cetera. Um, this screen kind of like lays it all out for you. Additionally, if I was trying to execute an order that was like significantly too large, um, you know, it's like, hey, like that's basically, uh, it throws that sheet as well, being like, yo, you're about to lose all your money. Um, uh, so let's see, um, you know, 250, make a trade. Um, so yeah, it, you know, um, one of the other cool things it does, we're, we're you know, trying to expose the, the contract address to the user at all times. Um, so, you know, you can, you can click here on the SOX contract you know, copy it, go confirm it to be the accurate SOX contract if you would like to, um, you know, uh, yeah, let's see, I can make a trade. So down here we have our new uh, interface for EIP 1559. Um, so I can choose a custom gas price if I would like. Um, you know, I'm gonna give the miner a nice tip. I'm gonna give them a tip higher than necessary because I'm a fan of this particular Ethereum miner. Let's go. Sweet. Oh, we got a nice crash. Running on the test flight. Let's go. Sick. So uh, I just made a swap. It's pending. Here we go. Almost done. 13 seconds. Estimated confirmation time. 45 seconds. Cool. Um, so I just got some Unisocks. Um, one other thing I wanted to demonstrate here. Uh, which is not intuitive to uh, people early um, to Rainbow is the concept of Wallet Connect. So what Rainbow does, which is really cool, is um, you know uh, people often come to Rainbow and go, hey, where's the DApp browser? Um, we actually think that DApp browsers suck, and um, that primarily the vast majority of use cases of DApp browsers, like we're going to have covered um, directly by the product itself, like with native integrations. Um, and essentially, we think that Wallet Connect uh, can um, you know, is the best solution for the long tail of experiences where you actually go need to use a web browser. So let me, let's just show you that flow. So uh, here's, uh, you know, uh, Uniswap. So what we can do is actually connect Rainbow to this web app. I'm in my regular mobile browser. So I'm in uh, Safari. So I can click uh, connect wallet, bam, wallet connect. Um, I can choose uh, Rainbow. I can connect to it. So now uh, just note as well, down here in the bottom right, it says the network is Ethereum. If I wanted to choose, I could, or, you know, I could choose to connect to another network, uh, a layer two, uh, like uh, Optimism, Arbitrum, Polygon from that bottom right. But we're gonna connect to mainnet Ethereum. Cool, bam, connected. So now my wallet is like plugged into this website. You can see in the top right, it, uh, you know, Uniswap detects my ENS name as rainbowwallet.eth. I've essentially just logged into Uniswap using my Rainbow Wallet. Um, and from here, I can take any action. So I can become a liquidity provider for, you know, uh, for ETH and SOX. Um, you know, what's a good range? Let's try that. So now when I want to take an action here, what happens is it bumps me back to Rainbow, except because I'm on the test flight, it bounces me to the app store. But if I then just open this, it thinks I don't have enough ETH. Cool. Cool. So now it's approving it. It's going to take a minute. Bam. Mike, you got like another 60 seconds or so. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's what's up, basically. Uh, we've got, let me Facts. think, you know. Facts, yeah, we got, you know, the send flow here. So you can type in any valid Ethereum or, you know, ENS name or Ethereum address. So let me think, what's a good one that just got handed out? Um, I haven't given Waka Flocka his yet. Uh, let me think. The flame? I don't know. 
Yeah, Waka Flocka's in my DMs. He wants his ENS name. So, you know, of course I'm going to give it to him. <laughs>